what anarchy means. Okay, so anarchy comes from the root an archon, and an means without, and archon means rulers. It means a person who is a representative or gets in the way of the true power. So it's like a, a representative, someone who speaks for you, or a ruler, the same thing. Because if it is a power, if it's somebody who holds the key to your rights, they are your master, right? They are your ruler. So this means without that, it has nothing to do with chaos. Words are easily changed and easily definable. Um, there's this guy I'm going to be referencing a lot. He talks about natural law. He's a person I've learned a lot from, and his name is Mark Passio. And in one of his presentations that he does, one of his presentations, he talks about words and how they're easily changed. And he talks, he points to a projector and he says, listen, if I keep calling that a hammer and say, hey, would you turn on my hammer? Can you hand me my hammer? And if I keep calling it a hammer for long enough, people are going to refer to it as a hammer. But does that make it a hammer? No, it's still a projector. But that's the problem with words. They can be changed. And this is what I think has happened to the word anarchy because if we go back to the small group of people who want to rule over a large group of people, if this idea of anarchy came about, which just meant that people can live in a civilized society without anyone that actually has to be above the law, just everyone is equal, right? <laughs> if we can live in this society harmoniously and hear the ideas, of course those people wouldn't want those ideas to get out. And of course they would demonize that word, right? It's like, think of like if you're a Patriots fan, you're gonna demonize everything that's the Giants, right? Or the other way around. Or if you love the Yankees, you're gonna be like, F the Red Sox, they're all stupid, right? It's the same shit and people fall for it.